I want to begin by thanking the people here in Sierra Vista for hosting us here today. Um, it is our pleasure to be in this, um, uh, this beautiful community. And um, uh, my only disappointment coming from northern Wisconsin, we always, when we go to Arizona, we expect 70 degrees. I'd also like to thank Representative Siskamani and the Congressional Western Caucus, led by Chairman Dan Newhouse, for helping make this the most widely attended field hearing held by the Natural Resources Committee this Congress. We are here to discuss a vital subject, one that has doubtlessly affected everyone in this city and in similar communities throughout Arizona and the entire Southwest. Under President Biden, the situation at the southern border has spiraled completely out of control. During his term, United States Customs and Border Protection has recorded more than six million encounters with illegal immigrants crossing into the U.S. from Mexico. Added to that are the more than 1.7 million migrants who successfully evaded border officials during the same period. Since significant numbers of convicted criminals, known gang members, and suspected terrorists have crossed the southern border in recent years, the Biden administration's failure to apprehend or even adequately screen the millions of people pouring into our country is an appalling security failure. Further, under President Biden's watch, a full 90 to 95 percent of the illegal narcotics carried by smugglers across the southern border makes it through without being seized. In fact, more than 90 percent of the fentanyl currently circulating in the U.S. enters the country this way. And I would just say we took a little side trip here today, and it's not hard to understand why all that fentanyl is pouring into our country when the border checkpoints are not manned because they are off having to do other things. This helps explain why fentanyl overdose kills roughly 70,000 Americans annually and is now the leading cause of death for Americans aged 18 to 45. Here in Arizona, the Customs and Border Protection's Tucson sector has become the busiest in the nation for illegal drug smuggling. You may be asking, why is the Natural Resources Committee interested in this issue? Every person in this room knows the effects of illegal immigration on our communities, but few know about the damage and destruction illegal immigration has on our public lands. We're here today to bring attention to this issue. Roughly 40% of the southern border is made up of federal lands, and in Arizona, 80% of border lands are owned by the federal government. As the immigration surge has overwhelmed official ports of entry, migrants have been pouring into Arizona's public lands, which are more remote and less easily patrolled. Each of these illegal migrants leaves behind an estimated six to eight pounds of trash. Last year, more than 28,000 pounds of trash were picked up by the federal officials in Arizona along the southern border. This is barely scratching the surface. With more than 2.4 million illegal crossings last year, it's likely that illegal immigrants left a minimum of 14.4 million pounds of trash. Let me say that again. Illegal immigration is causing millions of pounds of trash to pile up on our federal lands. In many cases, this environmental degradation is happening in our most sensitive landscapes, wildlife refuges, national monuments, and wilderness areas. Many of you have probably been to the Coronado National Memorial, which is a mere 30 minute drive from here. A National Park Service employee at the Coronado reported that the trash piles there have grown so large that they have become resting spots for illegal immigrants who then need to be airlifted out of this ecologically sensitive area at enormous expense to the taxpayer. You cannot call yourself a true conservationist unless you are willing to take a hard look at the environmental toll illegal immigration is having on our public lands. Unfortunately, with all the effects that illegal immigration is having on our society, the consequences for our federal lands are often the last issues to receive attention. We are here today to get the message out about the importance of conserving our federal lands and securing our border. Today, I took the time this morning to go through the Buenos Aires National Wildlife Refuge to the Coronado National Forest, and the photos I'm about to show you are from today. I want to thank Sean Wilson and his crew for um, escorting me out there to see what is going on. Uh, first of all, um, you will see a pile of firewood. This is firewood that has been harvested in the Coronado National Forest. Uh, go to the second uh, slide, if you would, the, uh, the fire. 
And here we have the firewood being burned. There is no permit that is being taken out on this. You as Americans would have to get a permit. You would have to get uh, the right to be able to do that. This is just happening in our national force not far from here. Slide three, you'll see the trash and food piles all stacked up in the national forest. And finally, we found lots of these. Catholic Charities, American Red Cross, who are helping facilitate this. And I understand that their mission, they say, is humanitarian. There is nothing humanitarian about what is happening to so, to so many migrants that are coming across our southern border, how they are being abused by the cartels. There is nothing humanitarian about it. Catholic Charities and other NGOs need to reconsider what they're doing with their facilitation of the greatest, the greatest um, human trafficking effort, perhaps, in the history of the world since slavery. As some of you may know, when on federal lands, there are strict rules on where campsites and campfires are allowed, and permits can be required but it appears these rules and regulations are reserved for the citizens of this country. All those pouring over illegally face zero repercussions for their blatant disregard for our public lands and the environment, as shown from our visit today. So not only do they get free flights around our country, free health care, and access to our schools, but they also get to trash and leave human waste on our public lands as their welcoming gift. I want to thank all the witnesses for being here today, and I look forward to the insights that each of you will bring to this important discussion.